radio broadcasting is the transmission by radio waves of information, entertainment, and other materials intended for general reception by an unlimited number of receivers or listeners. Pediatrician Joanna Kawayo says more patients are seeing her for symptoms of the coronavirus. From the usual two kids per week months ago, the number has tripled. Hello, young journalists! Welcome to our very interactive lesson in Journalism 9. I am Teacher Marisa, your learning facilitator for today. Join me where your skill will be harnessed right here on Aral TV. Earlier, you listened to a news report taken from CNN Philippines. Will you be able to deliver a news report like the broadcaster? Very good! After going through this video lesson, you are expected to write and deliver a local news report for campus radio broadcasting. To start with, Test your puzzle-solving skills with the game Unscramble M. You will see jumbled letters in each radio picture. Unscramble the letters to come up with the word being defined or described. Let's begin! Number 1 it refers to the written material which indicates the verbal and nonverbal action that has to go into the radio program. Number 2. It tells the listeners that there is a break but that there will be some more news coming up. Number 3. It is used to stimulate curiosity so that the listeners will stay tuned to hear what the news is all about. Number 4. It refers to music or sound effects. And number 5. It refers to coverage or events by the news in a local context that would not be an interest in another locality or otherwise be of national or international scope. Did you get five? Very good. Four or three? Good. Two and down? Nice try. Script, bumper, teaser, stingers, and local news are some important terms in radio broadcasting. Writers for radio are advised to write the way they want to hear the news. Writing for radio is different from writing for the newspaper. Print media like the newspaper use written words which may be longer than the spoken words. The human eyes can take or read many words at a time, while the human ears can only perceive words after words as they are spoken. 
The following are the principles in writing radio scripts. Number one, it is spoken. A radio program is talk. A radio script uses spoken words that are being used daily by ordinary persons. Number two, it is immediate. Radio can report and spread the news as it happens. Number three, it is person to person. The newscaster speaks directly to the listener. Radio uses words understood by everybody. Number four, it is heard only once. Once words are spoken in radio, listeners would find it difficult to retrieve what has been said. Broadcasters are encouraged to split longer sentences or ideas into one simple and short sentences. And number five, it is sound only. Radio uses words that convey concrete messages. Today, we have visitors. They are my former radio broadcasters who won in various competitions in local and national levels. They will help me make this lesson easy. So, buckle up and be ready to harness your skill in writing and broadcasting. Listen to this news report. The script will be read by our first visitor, Denise Lira. This is a sample local news which won first place in an area school's press conference. You will listen two times. After listening, answer the questions that will be flashed on your screen. Yes, Joe Beth, approximately 300 campus journalists coming from the different districts of Area 1 attend this year's Area Schools Press Conference. Guest speaker of the media conference says that student journalists must continue empowering the community for the betterment of the society. She added that campus journalism serves as the training ground of students for them to become responsible leaders in the future. Winners for each category will proceed to the division level to be conducted this September. Live all the way from Santa Fe Leyte, this is Denise Lira for Intensity FM. Yes, Joe Beth, approximately 300 campus journalists coming from the different districts of Area 1 attend this year's Area Schools Press Conference. Guest speaker of the media conference says that student journalists must continue empowering the community for the betterment of the society. She added that campus journalism serves as the training ground of students for them to become responsible leaders in the future. Winners for each category will proceed to the division level to be conducted this September. Live all the way from Santa Fe Leyte, this is Denise Lira for Intensity FM. Number 1. Where did the news happen? Number 2. How many sentences is the news report? And number 3. What awaits the winners for each category? Were you able to get the correct answers? I hope you did! Good job! Campus Radio Broadcasting has the following types of news. Local, National, International, Weather, Showbiz, and Sports. Again, the focus of today's episode is how to write and deliver local news report. To demonstrate your learning, our next activity is It's My Turn! Music 
you listened how Denise Lira read the news. Now, you will listen to Ayan Kabag. Be ready to demonstrate your learning by reading like a broadcaster too. The sample news report is taken from the regional training of trainers in radio broadcasting I attended with Sir Jude Kasalhai as the resource speaker. He and his team won during the national training of trainers in radio broadcasting. The week-long National Schools Press Conference 2014 is now ongoing here in Taguig City, National Capital Region. The press con is designed to enhance the journalistic skills of students all over the Philippines. It is participated in by almost 4,000 campus journalists and school paper advisors across 17 regions in the country. The NSPC will end this Thursday. This is your DWSF correspondent, Ian Kabag, reporting. Young journalist, stand straight and be ready in 3, 2, 1. As you observed, the script has only five short but substantive sentences. The first sentence is the lead, which contains information on who, what, when, and where. Why and how are the last three to four sentences, and the fifth is the lead out for every reporter. The following requisites on intonation, expression, interpretation, or emotions should be taken into consideration. Local, national, and international segments are read in a formal, strong, authoritative, up-and-down delivery. Now, in the use of voice. This refers to the overall production of language, the pronunciation, diction, and enunciation. Breathing, pausing, delivery style, sound effects, musical background, and lastly, timing. That's right, Ian! Moreover, the following are the preparations. First, read and reread your scripts. Second, edit your scripts by replacing difficult words, splitting long sentences, using bars for pausing, and checking for pronunciation. Third, Rewrite or recast your scripts if necessary. And fourth, be familiar with your voice clips and your sound elements. How are you doing so far? I hope you learned a lot from our radio broadcasters, Ian Kabag and Denise Lira. Young journalists, let's show our appreciation by giving them a round of applause. And by doing well in the next activity. Are you ready? Here is what you will do. The activity is Write it right. Please get your laptop. If however you don't have laptop yet, it's alright. You may get your notebook or a paper instead. Write a local news story based on the following data. Be guided by this rubric. Form, 10 points. Correct spelling and grammar, 10 points. Organization, 10. Completeness of data, 20. Total, 50 points.
Did you write it right? I hope you did. Now, listen as Denise will read this news as a sample for the girls. Then Ian will read the news as a sample for the boys. Are you ready to listen? Very good. Ready? Three, two, one. Yes, Joe Beth, I'm live here at Palau National High School where journalists from different areas of Leyte Division gather for this year's Division Schools Press Conference. Guest speaker of the media conference, Grace Villanueva, says that there is a dire need for student journalists to uphold and strengthen freedom of information. She added that the conference aims to sustain the social consciousness, environmental awareness, and the responsible use of journalism. This is also one way to encourage student journalists to be active in the world of journalism and be able to help the community. This is Denise Lira for Intensity FM. Yes, Jobeth, I'm live here at Palo National High School where journalists from different areas of Leyte Division gather for this year's Division Schools Press Conference. Guest speaker of the media conference, Grace Villanueva, says that there is a dire need for student journalists to uphold and strengthen freedom of information. She added that the conference aims to sustain the social consciousness, environmental awareness, and the responsible use of journalism. This is also one way to encourage student journalists to be active in the world of journalism and be able to help the community. This is Ian Kabag for Intensity FM. This time, it's your turn. Stand straight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. And release with a big Ha! Ha! Project. Smile. And if you have a microphone, hold the microphone. If not, it's alright. You can just imagine your hand to be your microphone. Ready? Three, two, one. Young journalist, for your active participation, here is your reward! 5 stars! Today, we learned that writing news for radio is easy. We will just follow the format. In addition, it is an advantage to imagine the important order of events so we will be able to come up with an organized and clear report. When broadcasting, be confident and remember the tips when delivering news. For your assignment, watch this video lesson again and try to do the activities so you will be able to master how to write and deliver a local news report. I hope you had fun learning with me. Again, I am Teacher Marisa reminding you to enjoy radio broadcasting. Goodbye!